forget they told the white people to crack it. Yeah, because you're a cracker. Eat you some? Because we cracked the shit out of people. Dude. Nah, yeah, he was cracking us with them whips. <laughs> and guess what we got? Look, yeah. proud, proud ass devil. Did the horns come out? Look at it. But can I Look tell you it. something? I don't want to tell you nothing, Esau. So. I don't yeah. hear nothing. What, what, you, what skills you good at? What skills you got? You good at Big Mason? I, I'm good at being you good, God. You good at, see that? You see that? They think they think they God, man. Let me show you how to love God. How he said love him. You gotta get your baby. Oh, I pray, sister. Somebody get a sister a flyer. Take a flyer, sister. Sister finish. That baby been with grandma for two weeks. Talk about son. I gotta go get my baby. Why your baby ain't with you? That's all. all right, but that's what we out here to do, man. And give our people a warning from the great and terrible day of the Lord, the destruction that's to come upon in America, man. You had a precept? God, you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, so read that one, if you read it. Verse 18, uh -huh. when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. Uh -huh. And I say, say to the wicked, you know what I'm saying? All of, the, uh, all of our people that's out here walking up and down on the Shabbat, hey, buying the summer, hey, giving it, hey, uh, drinking and carrying it on. Our women out here with yellow hair. Our men out here being that big back sodomites, man, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back more big than the St. Louis Arch, man, right? Throwing it off, get a rough house, right? We out here telling the wicked, man. Hey, to, hey, come out of the wickedness, man. Hey, come out of this wicked world, man. Right? We should say to the wicked, I should surely die, read. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way uh -huh. Uh -huh. to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But what? But the blood will I require at thine hand. Yeah, we got this, we, hey, the most high God has chosen, but the certain brothers that's out here, that go out here and bring out the truth of the Bible week in and week out, no matter in what state or what country that you in, and you Israelites that's out there on the corner shaking the hand in the chief hills of concourse, and warning our people from the day of the Lord, and we are commanded to do that, man. Right. We are commanded to do that. Right? We're supposed, to, we're supposed to go out here and preach the word. Not be up there in the church on Sunday with a three-piece suit on, sweating, taking that dirty rag, telling some, hey, dig deep into your pockets. Dig deep. You know what I'm saying? Hey, sister. No. I was just sitting here the other day. You can't come, hey, come here the words of the Lord for one minute. Why not, sister? Why not? You know, we got to go back. Uh, next time we all come out and hear the words of the Most High, because we shouldn't be working on the Sabbath day anyway. It's a Sabbath day, right? Listen to what we're talking about, man. Right? We got this. We got this knowledge. You got the precept. Oh, come. So like we got the, we got this knowledge, right? Right about the scriptures, right? Uh, we also got the understanding of the words, right? Of the, of the Most High, right? And we don't go out there and tell our people what's going on. Hey. That wicked man or wicked woman gonna die. But guess what? Because we knew and we didn't tell them, hey, guess what? Their blood gonna be required at our hand, man. Right? Can we? Nah, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, uh -huh. and he turned not from his wickedness. Now if we warn the wicked and they don't turn from the wickedness, what's gonna happen? Nor from his wicked way, uh -huh. he shall die in his iniquity. You gonna die in your iniquity, but what? But thou hast delivered thy soul. That's what we out here trying to do, man, to make our call and election sure, man. Right? Us that go, us that go, uh, that read in, that read day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out, month in, year, uh, uh, month out. Those that go in there and study the scriptures daily, man. Right? Those that study to show themselves approved. When we attain this knowledge, right, of the, from the Most High, right, we're supposed to go out there and we're supposed to preach the word. Right? Whether the people hear or forbear, man. Right? Because if we don't do, right, guess what? The Most High God, when they die, that's what he's going to require the blood in our hand, man. All praise to the most high. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's your nationality, man? Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah
Whatever. You know what I'm saying? What's your, what's your nationality? What nation of people you stem from? I stem from black people. From black people? Then do me a favor, brother. Look at your skin. Look at your hand. What color is that? Black. Look at your hand, brother. Look closely at your hand, brother. Brown. It's brown. Yeah. What color is your coat? Black. See, there was a man named Jesse Jackson in 1988 that, guess what, called us black. And guess what, he's a so-called black man, right? But if you look at, you just said that your skin is brown, but you call yourself black. Why do we call ourselves that? Right, who are we? That's the thing, that our people don't know who we are. You know what I'm saying? And hey, give me that book of Hosea 4 and 6, man, and then give me the book of Jeremiah, the 17 and verse 4. Whoever get it first. This is the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Can you read? Because I have rejected knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee, uh -huh. that thou shalt be no priest to me. Uh -huh. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Yahweh, Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. So look, because we ate. We are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We don't know our Lord, right? After we call our people week in and week out. And we try to preach to our people the truth of the Bible week in and week out about who they are, but they reject this knowledge. Right? They reject the they reject they reject the wisdom and the truth of the men of the Lord that's come out here week in and week out. And it's laboring for people like you that desire learning, that seek learning, that's seeking to know who they are, that's seeking to understand these curses that we're going through. That, that the people that wake up and look at it real like, man, why? Am I the only one? Why, why are our people going to jail at a massive rate? Why are my people are the only people that are going out there and shooting and killing each other? Why are my people that got a genre of music that talks about, hey, smoking my op? And my op look like me, right? Why am I the only people that, hey, run from the cops who are the actual ops but shoot at our brothers to go to jail? You know what I'm saying? To get a free me sign or a free me post or a hashtag on Instagram. And just to, 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 just to be called a real nigga. Right? Why am, I, why am I the only people that go through that? Why am I the people, why am I people, the people that every day the police, every time a police officer get behind me, I gotta make that suspect left, or I gotta hit the corner every time I see the lights behind me, or every time the lights cut on behind me, my heart dropped to my ass. Like that, I might go to jail. I might have to hit that gas on and hit the high speed. Why, why is that happening? We, the, we those people, right? They get the stuff destroyed for lack of knowledge and don't know why. But this is why, see we, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To do what? Serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. Hey. He said, he said, hey, we are the, he said we will discontinue from our heritage. Now heritage is a culture, is, is a way of life that we have, right? That our people do, right? Every, every other nation of people have their culture, their heritage, and their way of life. You got the Chinese man, they use chopsticks, eating bat soup, you know what I'm saying, eating bats. You got the gear, the rat gear, the cat gear, the dog, and they fry hard and serve to you in the hood. You know what I'm saying? On top of dirty rice. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. That's their culture. Right? You got the Arab man. They go and bang their head on the ground five times a day. They pray to a rock. They wear these long ass throws. You know what I'm saying? They got the prayer rug. They got the little koozie thing on the top of their head. They they they, they, they speaking jibber jabber out of a book called the Quran. You know what I'm saying? That's, they, that's their culture. You got the East Indian man with the dot in the middle of their forehead. They smell their armpits. They got the little thing on the top of their head. They talk about some things that come again at the damn gas station. Like our B on uh, the Simpsons, man. That's that culture, man. Right? But what is our culture? Our culture cookouts, you know what I'm saying? Shooting dice, you know what I'm saying? Hey, barbecue, eating pork. You know what I'm saying? That's not our culture, bro. Sagging our pants, you know what I'm saying? Making uh making uh uh uh, uh murder music, you know what I'm saying? Hey, calling out women bitches and hoes, excuse my French, but you feel me? That's what we do. That's that's not our culture, man. Right? We do whatever the society say us to do or what seems cool, right? But all these other people, you know what I'm saying? They want to be like you. You got so-called, you got the so-called white man over here trying to dance like you, trying to dress like you, trying to be cool like you. But as soon as he say that nigga word, you ready to smack the shit out of him. Excuse me, excuse my friend, but you ready to slap him, right? You know what I'm saying? He got the Nike, got the Nike tech suit, you know what I'm saying? With the Vapor Max on. Got the white man got the fade, like uh, got the fade, got the golds, got the tats. Want to be like you, right? Cause we the only people that makes probably look good. Cause we rich in spirit. What you got? The book of Isaiah chapter one and verse three. The ox knoweth its owner, and the ma as his master's crib. Don't go nowhere, brother. 
But Israel do it not know. But who? But Israel do it not know. Black man don't know. But Israel do it not know. I thought I'm a black man, but my skill is brown. But Israel do it not know. My people do it not consider. Hey, he said Israel don't know. Our people don't need to consider who they are. They will just take rule. They will just take whatever, right? They will just take whatever is told to them. Like Jesse Jackson called us black. Oh well, I guess we black. Or oh, I'm African American. Well, I guess I'm African American then. Or oh, I'm a nigga. Well, shit. Slap me on the knee and call me Negro. I'm a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yes, a boss. That's how they be. That's how we be, bro. Right? He said, because Israel don't know. My people don't even consider. You know what I'm saying? They'll see these things and say, oh, well, well I'm not a nigga. I'm not, my skin not black. But they don't consider, hey, why am I called these things? Why, where, where did this come from? Right? What's my culture? We don't even know. Right? The most high God compared us to a, a dumb, two dumb animals, an ox and an ass. An ox, right, know if his owner, and the ass know his master's crib, right? He know how to get back home, you know what I'm saying? But we don't even know. We just be proud and stand off in the daggone wilderness and get lost, and this cool with being lost, right? Tell our people want to hear the truth of the Bible, and they keep walking, nah, I'm good. Just keep, I, I, just, I just be blind. I don't want to see nothing. They walk right to a damn brick wall or off a cliff. They be like, shit, who real nigga? Smoking weed body falling down the cliff. Come on, man, it's off. It's, it, it, we laughing, but it's serious. That's what our people do. Look, you see this culture? We got a damn thing on, man. With pajamas on. He outside like he just got, he walk around the bed. Look at Ishmael, man. Walk around with his culture, proud. Look at him. They know, they know how they dress, right? Hey, let me ask you a question. Where is most of the so-called black men at? I say so-called because the Lord called us Israelites. Society called us black, called us African American. Called us this, American blacks. The Lord called us this on this side, right? Jew, right? Benjamin, right? Levi. We came from a man named uh, Jacob, whose name was turned to Israel. We are the 12 tribes, the descendants of Israel, right? We will be Israelites from one of these tribes on the side, brother, right? We had tribes we go back to. We, are, we ain't got no tribe in uh, uh, African uh, American black. You know what I'm saying? But where is most of our men at today? Where is most of our men? Yeah. Jail or Wales? Go yeah. dead. Most of our men are in jail or dead, brother. Hey, do you, hey, do you hear, do you hear about uh, somebody saying, hey, free my, hey, free my, hey, free my cracker Bradley? You know what I'm saying? Hey, free cracker Bradley until it's backwards, man. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever hear that? Uh -huh. What about, what about, uh, what about, uh, Jack, uh, Jack Long? What about Jake Long, man? The Chinaman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm about to go, go slide on Jet Lee and them. Yeah. He, and, he killed, and, he killed, and he killed my brother, Mei Lee. You know what I'm saying? The other day, I'm about to slide on him. You hear about that? One more time, brother. Hold on. Read, I'm gonna, let me read this last one before you go. And I'm going to ask you a question about who this line up with, bro. Come here, bro. Don't, 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 let, don't let the enemy take you away from the word, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bring it up. Here's the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 22. But this people robbed, are robbed and spoiled. This people are robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared and hold. Snared right in a trap. You're saying, where are most of the black men are in the, uh, in the hood? They in a the trap. They in a the trap. They in a the vaco. They in a the bando. They cooking up. You know what I'm saying? They scraping the sides of that pan, trying to get the extra. You know what I'm saying? That's what they doing, man. They got the Pyrex in the microwave. They mixing it up, you feel me? Doing things in the trap. You said they are, they are snaring holes. That's what that word snare is going into, trap. Read. And they are hid in prison house. And they are hid in prison house. We is 95% of the men at. And they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey. Prey, right? Meaning, guess what? Month in and month out, police are trying to meet their quota, keep reading. And none deliver. And none deliver. For a spoil. Spoil. And none said. Restore. And none said restore. Right there, I'm just saying, it said none said deliver, man. Because guess what? When you get locked up, ain't no bail for you. Right? Ain't nobody gonna be able to get you out, bail you out. They're gonna hike it up. Right? They're gonna hike it up to a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give me a million, you give them a million dollar bail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, oh, he got some fitting all on him? Oh, he ain't getting no bed. Guess what? We can go to jail, but brother don't know who he at. 
the wife don't know you well. You know what I'm saying? Grandma don't know who you are. You just in there. Waiting, waiting to get seen by the commissioners Monday morning. Right? That's, who's that happening to? That happening to the so-called white man? Right? Because this is prophesied. Some of that was foretold that come to pass that will happen to the Israelites. Right? And then this, this happened to us? Then this happened to the so-called black people? The Lord said this will happen to the Israelites. So they're linking up with the so-called white man. They're linking up with the Arab man. Is that linking up with the Chinese man? Who is that linking up with? The black people who the Lord called who? The Israelites. This is prophecy, brother. This is our book, right? But because our people have been lied to for so much long, you know what I'm saying, and our people don't consider who they are, and they don't even want to learn, you know what I'm saying, guess what? They just take, oh, this is the white man book, and they walk off. Oh, this is all the white man book. No, brother, this book, this book was written by Hebrews, for Hebrews, to the Hebrews, Israelites, by, by the Most High God, right? So this book is our book, this is the true book, brother. Can I read you one more precept before you leave? One more precept. What form of transportation did the so-called black people get over here? Or what? And turn the sign around. Did the, did, the boat, did the boat look something like this? Did the boat look something like that? The type of boats that we was on? These are called, these are called, you know what I'm saying? Our people always ask, oh, uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen a slave ship. There ain't no such thing as a slave ship. These are cargo ships. They still down, they still down to this day, right? We was, we was live cargo, we was cattle. That's why you got a thing called chattel slavery. When you, when you tag a livestock, making it chattel. You know what I'm saying? A chattel slavery, man. They had us, they had us on boats like cattle and damn lambs and sheep and goats. That's what they had us on the boats like. Like this, packed up, like sardines in a can, right? Give me that in right quick, Deuteronomy 28 and verse number 68. That's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. So I can give me it on Exodus chapter 20 and verse number two. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, Egypt, right, right? The Israelites were slaves in Egypt for 400 years. You know about Moses, brother? You know about the prophet Moses? But Moses was a prophet, right? And uh, he's, a, he's an Israelite from the tribe of Levi, right? That, the, that through the spirit and power of the Most High God, Yahweh, right? The Most High God gave him the power to deliver the Israelites out of the hand of Pharaoh, who had us in captivity for 400 years. Now, Pharaoh is an Egyptian, a so-called African, right? He had us in captivity for 400 years, all the tribes of Israel, right? So when Moses came along, the Most High God put that spirit on Moses to deliver us out. We went through the Red Sea, right? The walk, you ever heard that? Moses said, Moses taking the people through the Red Sea. With a, you heard about that, right? Those people that he brought through the Red Sea are the Israelites, are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people, right? All the people that you see on this side of the border, right? So when we so when we, so when we walk through this, when we walk through the Red Sea, right? You know what I'm saying? We went into the Promised Land. When we went, we went into the wilderness. I mean, when we went into the wilderness. Moses gave us commandments from the Most High God that we should do. He gave us a, he gave us our culture, of how we should live, how we should survive, right? Not like these other people that surround about us, right? And so he gave us these commandments that we should live and keep. And once our God said, if we keep them, that's what? We're going to be on high above all nations. But if we don't keep them, we're going to be cursed. So that what we're about to read is a curse, right, that goes up on our people. Because can you bear witness if the black people on high above all nations right now? Or we low? We low. So guess what? That must mean that, guess what? We might be going, we're going through some curses right now, right? Us killing each other in the streets, us hating each other, right? Bring that out. He said, and the Lord shall bring him in Egypt again, read. And, the, and God spoke out. This is what he meant by Egypt. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. out of the house of bondage. Egypt called? Out of the house of bondage. And when you are bound, right, what does that mean when you're bound up? You can't move, you're locked up, you're in chains. Right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to say, free my man, let my man go, what is it? And he, and what they say, uh, he went through waves. Yeah, he went through waves, man. That's what he was at. We was, we, and we was up in waves for 40 years. Right? But Moses said to the Israelites, right? If you don't keep the Lord's commandments, you're going to have these curses, and this is one of them curses. So he said, what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Meaning slavery again, locked up again. 
We're ship. How we get over here? We're ship. Nah, in a scat pack. We're, we're ship. We're ship. We're what? We're ship. Uh huh. By the way, we're up. I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, you ain't gonna see it no more again. You ain't gonna see that physical land of Egypt no more, right? Because you're gonna be in a spiritual Egypt, right? Which is now, right? You're saying you're gonna be in the house of bondage again. But this time you're gonna go into Egypt because the last time you went out of Egypt, we walked out. We didn't go out of Egypt on boats, we walked out. But he said this time you're gonna go into Egypt, we're gonna be in Egypt on ships. Now what people went into Egypt on ships? What people went into slavery again on ships? Brown people, who the Lord called who? The Lord didn't call us black. The Lord said these things will happen. Moses was speaking to the, the Israelites. Lord, the Israelites yeah, the Lord was speaking to the Israelites. Oh, you gotta bring it up. This is the book of Genesis chapter uh, 32 and verse 28. Huh? And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel, uh -huh. but, but Israel. Israel. Uh -huh. For as a prince has thou power with God, with men, and has prevailed. And so look, Moses said he, and he swore, he spoke to the Israelites, to Israel, the descendants of Israel. Moses was speaking to all of the Israelites in the wilderness. Now if you know, if you broke the Lord God's commandments, right, he wasn't speaking to black people. He didn't say, he didn't say, hey blacks. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna go to slavery again. No, he said, hey Israelites. Ah. You hey Yasha Amla, Israel, you're gonna go into slavery again on ships if you don't put, if you don't keep the Lord's commandments. He said, and when you get there, they said, you won't see it no more again, right? You're going to see the physical land in Egypt, right? But what happened when we got off those ships? And there he shall be sold. What happened to us? He shall be sold. Uh-huh. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. Now, who sold us, bro? Who sold us off those ships? Who? Edomites. His people. He you know it. The white man. Right. You said it. <laughs> Who sold us off from ships, bro? The white man. The so-called white man. The <laughs> devil that the Bible speaks of. And who, right. And what he called him? Your enemy. What the Lord say? Your enemy. Who the so-called white man? Your enemy. Uh -huh. For by men and by women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you. Now he said he's going to sell you, and your enemies is going to uh, buy and sell you. Right? This way he got this sign right here. Somebody get that sign right here. Right here. So you got stuff like this right here. You see this? Oh, right here. It said, hey, the great sale of slave, January 10th, 1855. You got three bucks. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they would have loved this brother right here. He big. He look like he's strong. He could pick cotton for hours. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they would have loved me. They would have probably had me as a preacher or something. You know what I'm saying? Just don't rile up the people. You know what I'm saying? Just don't, just don't incite a riot against our slaves. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they would have hey, had, they probably would have had that brother right there, the elder, you know what I'm saying, in the house somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Probably. They would have had this brother out here, like, ah, oh, he's fiery. Ah, oh, I, gotta, I gotta keep my eye on this brother. You know what I'm saying? I gotta keep my eye on this Negro. That's, like, that's how they did. They had three bucks, man. You know what I'm saying? They had a bed witch. They had, they had a bundle of kids with alligator bait. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord said that these people are your enemies. Right? The, look, the most high God, Moses said, through the spirit of power of the Most High God, that these curses will be upon your people, right? Not the so-called black people, not the damn uh, Latino people, but the Israelites. So who's that? Is that linking up with the so-called white man, bro? Who's that linking up? The so-called right. black man, right? What does the Lord call us, though? Israelite. Right. So if that's linking up with the so-called black man who are the Israelites, what that make you, brother? Yeah, that make you right. right. Bro, you gotta say it loud, brother. Say it loud, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, say it loud, brother. Take the mic, brother. <laughs> Who would that make you, brother? Would that make you a black man? Would that make you an Israelite in the Bible? That's right. That's right, brother. That's who would make you, an Israelite. All praise to the most high. Hey, let me give you, let me give you one commandment. Do you eat pork, brother? I'm trying to stop. You eat pork? I'm trying to stop. You love God, brother? Now that you know that you're an Israelite, the most high God requires something of you. Right? Because if your spirit been witness, right, with these with this prophecy, right? They know who you are, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of the Israelites too, they hear the word from the Father. God. All praise to the most high. You know what I'm saying? And you can be that light to them brothers, man. Because they, they, they be not moving over here right now, but yours did because the most high God led you. Because man's laws are the Lord. 
You know what I'm saying? You ain't had to come over here. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to your brothers, but they, you could have stayed over there and not heard nothing. Right? But the most high God told you, but that's for your feet to come over here and hear the words of the Lord, man. Right? Give me that right quick. Give me, uh, uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter uh, 10 and verse 12 right fast. And then bring it out. This is because this is the Lord required you that you understand. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Yeah. And now Israel. And now who? And, and now, now Israel. Israel. Uh, black man. Israel. Now, nah, Latino man. Israel. Uh, Native American man. Israel. Uh -huh. What doeth the Lord God require of thee? And the Lord requires something of you, brother. What's your name? What's your name? What you go by? All right, brother Arnold, you know what I'm saying? This, this, is, the, this is the Lord calling you. This is the Lord requiring of you, brother. But to fear the Lord thy God. But to fear the Lord thy God, read. To walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Because that's why we got here to this day, right? Because we didn't serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We broke his commandments, right? Right? This is why we got to go. That's why we go through these curses that you see through slavery. Right? Through the punishment. This, so look, look, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, 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 I'm going to finish this verse. I'm going to get you this one commandment, brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To keep the commandments. What you got to do now? To keep the commandments huh? of the Lord and his statutes, yep, which I command thee this day for thy good. Drop that. Hey, brother, you said you're trying to stop eating pork? So if you love the Lord, look, listen to this. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. And the swine, though he divided the hook, he ain't though he divided the hook, even being clothing for it, yeah, he too would not the cut. Don't you the cut, brother? He is unclean to you. He is what? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. He's unclean, brother. We got all manners of parasites. He eat all manners of doo doo. All manners of bodies. Right. He eat everything. He's the he's the, the garbage disposer of the earth. Did right. You drink garbage juice out of the dumpster, brother. Would you drink garbage juice out of the dumpster? <laughs> then why eat the pig? Why eat the pig, man? Can you read? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Of their flesh, don't eat it, brother. And their carcasses shall ye not touch. And don't touch the carcasses, brother. Now that you know you're an Israelite, brother, don't eat no pork, brother. No pork. Yeah, tell them, brother. Don't eat no pork. Because it's, hey, it's unlawful. Hey, brother, before you, before you go, brother, what's your nationality, brother? That's right, right, brother. All praise to the most high. All praise, yeah, brother. You more likely to be one too. Hey, hey, brother, brother, brother. Real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Let me ask you a question. Oh, before you dip off, what nation of people you come from, brother? People around me, the people that's living near me. What nation of people is that? <laughs> you got a, you got a, you got a, a, a grandfather, white man. Gentiles, you know. The Gentiles, who are the Gentiles, brother? The ones that have followed after, you know, Christ and things that he did. I don't really get no definition. But. So Gentile, according to the scripture, is anybody that usually means anybody that's not an Israelite, right? Even though we had, even though we had, uh, even though we had Israelites, right? That act like Gentiles, that had a mindset of a Gentile, like our people do today. Our people want to be like a so-called white man. Our people want to be like a so-called Chinese man. Our people want to be like a so-called Arab man. That's the mindset of a Gentile, right? Exactly. Because of, and because of that, because of that, because and the reason why they want to be like that is because our people are scattered. They like, give you the Book of James, the one in verse one. How long y'all out? We out here to until the spirit, brother. Right? I gotta start working. I'm gonna work right behind you. Question, bro. Let me ask you a good question. How did the so-called black people get over here to this day? Let us get straight to it. What form of transportation? Tita Mike. Sailboats. Say it again. Heard what he said? He said he said Edomites which over here on sailboats. Yeah. Who, hey, let's bring it up. In the, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. In slavery, so-called slavery again, right? Because the Israelites were in slavery to Egypt for 400 years, but this time, he's talking about he's going to bring you into bondage again. This time, what how? With ship. Who? With ship. ship. Got over here on ships, brother. Right? And slavery on ships, like the Edomite behind you said, read. By the way, whereof I spoke unto thee. That thou shalt not see it no more again. 
And you shall be sold, Abby. And you shall be sold. When you got off them boats, brother, guess what? He got sold by the so-called white man behind him that's smoking that cigarette. By his ancestors. Hey, not even white. Uh, yeah, the Edomites. Bring it up. Uh, to your <laughs> enemy. To who? Uh, to, to your, your enemy. enemy. Boy said that the so-called white man, brother, is your enemy, brother. That's why you got to work on Saturday. That's why you got to hurry up and get to work. Because if you don't go to work, guess what? That white man will fire you. Right. That's why you're going to be without a job. Right? You can't pay your bills. The white man ain't gonna give you no house, right? He ain't gonna give you no car, right? You gonna say, we gonna stay send your ass home. Are you late? Are you, oh, would you a valet driver? Oh, you damaged my car. Yeah, I don't like you because you're black. Oh, he stole something. Go on, stereotype you. That's how they do you, right? This, 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 is exactly how, this is exactly how it was back in slavery days. Uh huh. That's, go ahead, go ahead. But that's how they gonna treat you. Look, that's how you do that. Look. Esau got you so jacked up. That's that. That's that. Yeah, get back to work, boy. Go ahead, boy. Let's get back to work, boy. Yeah, come on, make my money, boy. That's how it is. It's stuck in his head, man. He can't. He can't let it go. Well, look at this Edomite right here. You know your nationality? White man, not Edomite. You I, mean, Edomite. I never enslaved nobody. You an Edomite? I never enslaved nobody. Your forefathers. Your forefathers. The Edomites are white people that enslaved. I'm just a white. Why you homeless? <laughs> you broke. So you jammed up. <laughs> two time loser. You a two time loser. Long, long two times. Long. Maybe like 20th time. You jammed up, man. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter for his children. What the Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children. The Lord said, prepare slaughter for the Edomites' children. That's right. The Edomites' children are the so called white people. Look, if you look at your skin, what color is your skin? Red. Look at your skin. White. It's not white. Red. This is white. Uh, what would you call it? Let's see what the Lord called. Give me Genesis 25 and verse 25. It's the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Get out. And the verse came out red all over. Right. Came out what? Red, red all, all over. Came out white. Red, red all, all over. <laughs> <laughs> like a hairy garment. Uh -huh. And they called his name Esau. They called him Esau. Esau. Look, he said the first came out red all over. That's not right. White all over. He said he red. Look at your skin. It's red. I never knew Esau was white. I mean, I never knew Esau was red. Yeah, he's a red man like you. Andy Harvey. Just like you. I thought that was. But you got a whole unibrow, man. That's not Native American. You, you hairy, brother. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, crap. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> but you hairy. That that that, no, ready is red. Ready is a form of red. No, it's brown. It's not even red. It's like a derivative of brown. It's ready. It looks red, but it's brown. No, they're not. They're ready. They're ready. They look brown. They look. They look red, but they're derivative of brown. That's right. The whole tribe called red. I thought they were a little red. That's a derogatory name. Stop disrespecting my people. Five minutes kiss this boot. That's right. I got disrespect for real, boy. Hey, got that damn, got that damn unibrow, boy. We put you ready, man. <laughs> hey, go, hey, go down, hey, go, uh, go back to Genesis and go to, uh, uh, I think verse 26. We say we call this thing Edom. <laughs> 25 and, uh, and yeah, bring it out. It, uh, Genesis 25 and verse 30. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, uh -huh. with the same red pottage, uh -huh. for I am faint. Is what? For I am faint. So Esau, hey, was because he's a man of the field, a piece of the field, right? Why do you think Esau always want to go and travel, want to go out there and be in the damn wilderness, in the jungle with the mosquitoes? Oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? With the damn, hey, he want to be out there with his uh his army fatigue on, got his army fatigue gear, hunting down deers and stuff, man. Oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? They got a whole company named after him, John Deere. He was probably a deer hunter, right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Esau was out there in the field, man. He was fake. Hey, keep reading. Was his name called Edom? What was his name? Was his, his name, name called Edom? Edom. Uh -huh. Look, so look, man. Esau, right, is the progenitor of the Edomites. Right. Right? Who are the so-called white people. You know what I'm saying? To this day. Well, what did it say? I didn't hear it. Bring it out one more time for Esau. Devil. <laughs> Verse... Like Verse 30. Uh -huh. And Esau said to Jacob. Esau said to Jacob, who is Yasha Allah, who is Israel, read, Feed me, I pray thee, with the same red pottage. With the same red pottage, because hey, hey, we be in there whipping in the kitchen, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, y'all only make spicy hot. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all chicken, man. Y'all over there cooking green bean casserole, right? With that, with that, uh, with that spam in it. Bring it out. For I am faint. That's all. Therefore, what is his name called? Edom. What was his name? Edom. Edom. What's Esau's name? Edom. Edom. He's the father of the Edomites, the progenitor of the so-called white people. Right. Now his shirt is white, but his skin is red. Maybe the Mexican, hey man, with the white shirt. Maybe the Mexicans started enslaving people first. Because the Spain were involved. They were Edomites. Spain. Spain were Spaniard. involved in The Spaniards are Edomites. Alright, they're reddish. They're Edomites. You're red. You're red. You are red, because you're drunk. You're drunk. Oh, am I red now because I'm drunk? <laughs> you, you always turn red when you're cold, when you're nervous, right? When you, when you blush. Uh, I didn't know. Am I getting a little embarrassed? You're red. <laughs> you're red now. You're red, man. Because you're the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. <laughs> right? And so he said, he said, bring slaughter. He said, prepare slaughter for the, for, for the Edomites. Right? Can you read? Oh, you got another precept? Yeah, this is the book of Psalms, said the 55 and verse 20. Uh -huh. He has put forth his hands against such as he has beat with him, peace with him. Uh -huh. He has broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Now this is what the so-called white people, the Edomites, did to the Indians, man. They came over there speaking smooth words when they came over here to Spaniards. Uh, they came over there speaking smooth words to the so-called to the so-called Indians, the Native Americans, saying we're gonna give you 40 acres in the mule. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, hey, we're gonna give you uh, some land, right? We're gonna do all that. We're gonna give you civilization, right? Can you read? But war was in his heart. War was in their heart, man. They came over here with war in their heart. You know what I'm saying? Can you read? Oh, it's like His words were softer than oil, uh -huh. yet were they drawn swords. Yet were they drawn swords, man. So when they came over here to the so-called Indians, right? They came over here speaking in the name of civilization. We're gonna give you civilization in the name of civilization. Right? Take this Christianity, we're gonna cut you down if you don't. And that's what they did. They cut them down, gave them diseases, all manners all man of diseases, all manners of rodents with them. That's how you know Esau the so-called wild man. What's it all damn mosquitoes over here until Esau came? Flies and maggots, roaches, rats, possums, and raccoons, right? AIDS. You know what I'm saying? I brought AIDS over here, man. Damn freaks. These are damn walking cesspool of madness. Right. Right? Your people are just, just, just trash. Let's call calling some white trash or trailer, or trailer trash. You can say that with any race. No, you and, just trash. And every race has trash Bring and that no out. trash. Because of y'all. Open side one, go to one and 15. Then read the eight, uh, one and 15 and read the 18. Go back to that Isaiah joint. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon the heathen. That's near who? Yeah. Is near upon the heathen. Now the so called, now the heathen are the so called white people who are the Edomites and these other nations, right? Read. Salaki. Obadiah, 115. It's upon the day of the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto your people. As your, as your forefathers came over here, raped, robbed, and stole, and murdered, and, uh, and killed, and plundered, and defiled this land with blood, the same thing gonna happen to you. Read. <clears throat> we don't wanna hear, oh, I ain't doing it though. That wasn't me, I didn't slave anybody. Look at me, I'm homeless. Nobody give a damn. You jammed up. And guess what? You are gonna be double jammed up I'm, in the kingdom. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Hey, what you good at doing? I'll tell you. What you good at doing? I'll tell you the truth. I don't. You never tell me no truth. I don't wanna hear that. What you, what you good at doing? I'm gonna tell what you. What skills you got? No, no, you're gonna listen. You, can you do brick? I'm not gonna. You say, oh, you heard that? No, you gonna listen. I'm, you're gonna listen. What the fuck you thought this was? This ain't like, this ain't 1855. That's right. Well, I slapped the hell out you, boy. That's right. Listen, boy, Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. coming out, boy. Hey, boy. What's he? What's he? What's he? What's he? Is he an Edomite too? No, no. What's he? His mama an Edomite and his father is Israelite. This father is my legacy. That man was one of their team. Look at that devil. He's coming out. Look at him. He's showing his horns. Hey, you, you gonna listen? I ain't gotta do nothing to you, boy. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not the devil. Yeah, you is. I killed the fucking devil. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Bring it up. This is what he knows. I put the devil in the coma. I put the 
and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families, after their what? After their family by the house of their father, by the house of their fathers. So guess what? I don't give a damn what you heard. Don't give a damn what you heard, Esau. Right? Because guess what? You tell his father's an Israelite. Right. His father's an Israelite. Bread is on his His father farm. is an Israelite. That is bread. His father is an Israelite. I am not bread. Yes, you are. The devil yes, you are. Bread. Look at him. Look at the his skin. Is so blood, the bread is showing through his damn pores right now. Right? I am not Esau. That's why I'm going to crack your head open, boy. Like a damn egg, boy. Crack it open then. Boy, what are you going to crack this whip, bro? Crack it open. Hey, keep bringing it out, though. Don't forget, they call the white people the crackers. Yeah, because you're a cracker, Esau. Because we crack the shit out of people, then. Nah, yeah, he was cracking this with them whips. And guess what we got? Look, proud. Proud ass devil. Did the horns come out? Look at it. But can I Look tell you something? I don't want to tell you nothing, Esau. I don't hear nothing. What, you, what skills you good at? What skills you got? You good at Big Macy? I, I'm good at being you good, God. You good at, see that? You see that? They think they think they God, man. They hey, think hey, they think they're the God. You smack the shit out of me. You think he a God. You think he a God, man. Why don't you it's get like the Greek and cross some line if I'm not it's a like God? It's like the Greeks when they made uh, Zeus. Look at me. When they made uh, uh, look Juniper. Me. Look at me. What do I look like? Like a damn you. devil. Right. Like a damn devil heathen. Right. Like a two-time loser white man. Right. That's what you look like. A so-called white man. I look like a God. You look like a damn fool. You look like a robot. You look like a robot. You look like a robot. You look like a fool. He's a fool, boy. I'm a fool. Boy. I can kill 100,000 of you dumbass. Look at him. Look at him. See that? Uh, the the devil. See him. Hey, 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 the devil was right there. This is hey, nothing right. to be proud about. This is what's going to happen. Look at him. The devil going to reveal. Look at him. Nothing to be proud about. The Lord is near a bowl. All the heathen. All the who? All, All the heathen. All the so-called white people. Oh. Oh. Drink upon that, as they drink upon their mountain and mirth and gladness over the top of the cold, or so uh, over the so called black race, or the Israelites. Look at this drunk ass. That's why you're going to be drinking a cup of this affliction. They're boy, drinking because the they're celebrating boy. God. Boy. Bring it up. They're they're God. Bring it up. Look at this boy. Them. Look at this boy. He's going to be a good servant. And he's going he to give me problems. I'm about to crack his ass open with the whip. I'm about to break him. I'm about to break him like you did people. I'm going to break your ass. Boy, with the round, boy. You ain't nothing. On the damn, on the damn slave ship. I'm gonna make you drink this cup of affliction, boy. I'm gonna break make your teeth. I'm gonna break, break your teeth, boy. And it shall be as though they had not been. Uh -huh. But upon Mount Zion, uh -huh. but upon Mount, Mount Zion, bring it out. Shall be deliverance. That's gonna be deliverance for the Israelites. That's right. And that there shall be holiness. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob, the house of Jacob, shall what? Possesses their possession. They're gonna possess the Edomite. We're gonna own you. We're gonna own you, Jacob. The man is going to own us, going to own you, us, Jacob. the Israelites, the men of the Lord that stand right in front of your face. The men of the Lord that in front of your face, do you read? And the house of Jacob, and the house of who? And the house, house of Jacob, be a what? Shall be a fire. So burn your ass alive, Esau, read. And the house of Joseph, who? And the house of Joseph. The house of Joseph, that's Vanessa and Ephraim, read. A flame. A flame. Read. In the house of Esau. What's going to be happen to Esau? That's not what for the Bible stubble. says. For stubble. Up, for stubble. You're making That's up shit. That's what the Lord said. That's right. Bring it out. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. We're going to do what to Esau? Devour them. We're going to take Esau and the so-called white race. Read. And there shall not be any. They going to be what? Any. any. I'm going to be a little bit. Any. I'm going to be just a sprinkle of them. Any. I'm going to bring them to Esau. Any. Uh, remaining. That could be more remaining than you so-called white man. Can we? Of the house of Esau. You hear that, boy? You hear that, boy? No, I didn't. There's going to be no more of you, boy. That's not what We're it gonna said, gonna boy. We're going to destroy you, boy. Uh, boy, I'm going to eat him. You're a damn cracker, boy. Let me eat him, boy. I'm going to my slave. I don't give a damn, boy. I freed my slave. Look, look at him. Look at him. Talk about he freed his slaves. Look at it. You see that damn devil? He's a damn devil. You a jam that eat him, mate. in a coma. Go find him. You, know, you can put yourself in a coma. You put your father in a coma. Why can't I be in a coma then? He's a, hey, boy, you's a, you's a eat him, mate. You's a eat him, mate. It's not fair. Hey, step to the side. I want this boy I, to I try something. I live in your sidewalk. You don't pay for this hey, shit. Hey, 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 Juan, uh, step to the side. Let this let this boy try something. Hey, 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 hey
Cause this ain't, this ain't 1855, boy. This ain't 1855, boy. It's not, and you shouldn't be even talking to me like that. This ain't 1855, it's boy. It's 2024. I slapped the hell out of you, boy. You slap me. I slapped you, boy. Slap me the fuck then. Yeah. Call me a little, call me a little. I never told you a goddamn thing. That's the problem, That's boy. Thing. We, it's on camera, boy. 1825. You was an Edomite, and the Lord ain't dealing with your people. And guess what? Guess what? You want to get the bottom up. Here, I never fucking did nothing to you. Why, Why are you over? fucking saying, let's There's bring it out? Let's bring it out. Right, man. I mean, uh, Chapter okay. 1, verse 15. Okay. For the day of the Lord what? is near upon all the heathen. That's what be what? That's the it's near upon, upon all, all the heathen. heathen. Upon the so-called white man, near upon all the heathen. Read. As thou has done, it shall also be done unto thee. And as y'all people, have, guess what? Put our people in slave. The God. same thing is going to happen unto you. It's going to happen unto you. It should be done to the knee. Me just thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Don't turn your head, boy. For as ye have drunk upon the holy mountain, I so shall all the heat to drink continually. The damn red net. They shall drink, uh -huh. and they shall swallow down, uh -huh. and they shall be as though they had not been. Uh -huh. But Mount Zion shall be delivered. Because you're disappearing. And there shall the be mouth. holiness you in the house the of Jacob. You you're going to be delivered, boy. You drink and guess what? You and guess what? what? You're going to be my possession. I'm going to bring you into my kingdom. Uh, I'm going to I'm I'm have a hot chain for your ass. That's right. I'm going to have a burning chain for your neck. It's going to be, it's gonna, this chain going to be so hot. It's going to be so hot, hey, boy. Hey, I don't think the majestic self is going to do anything Come about this, boy. Come on closer. Yeah, come on closer. I don't, I don't think the yeah, this, trouble this is able to do anything about it. This ain't 1855, boy. That's why you keep calling me boy, because it's not 1855. Yeah, You're the one yeah, stuck in slavery, boy. 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 Look at him, look at him. Boy. Look at him. Boy. Damn devil. He's a damn devil. I killed the devil. I, devil. I hate the devil. Yeah, He's in a coma. Thanks to, Thanks, Thanks to me. Thanks to me. So you preaching the wrong shit. And a damn cracker. Yeah. The devil's going to come and go find him. And his wife's in my goddamn car. The devil's wife's in my fucking car. Bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. Yeah. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Have, who? have mercy on Jacob. Have mercy on the Israelites, read. And will yet choose Israel. Who will choose? And will yet, yet choose Israel. He's going to choose the so-called so blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what he's going to choose, read. And set them in their own land. What are going to do? And set them in their own land. He's going to set Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in their own land, read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Ah, uh, and the strangers were the so-called white people in these other nations, can you read? And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave unto the house of Jacob, the Israelites. Like we used to cleave to God in the in day of slavery. When they had our, when they had our, uh, our, our, our Latino brothers over there throwing their comienda in the main East mountain. And killing, our, and killing our brothers through slavery. Yeah, back up. Yeah, yeah, brother, yeah. What's your, what's your nationality? What's your race? Chicano. Chicano, man. That's our people, man. Chicano, he know about something, man. They call me in there, man. But they had our, they had our, uh, our, uh, our, uh, our Latino brothers over there in the daggone tobacco fields. Over there in, uh, in, uh, during that time, uh, in Texas, man. They killed over a thousand daggone, uh, some, uh, so called Latino, man. In the, uh, the town of, uh, what's it called? The Alamo. You know what I'm saying? They killed our people, man. Right? Bring that back up here for the brother. You know what I'm saying? That's what, hey, that's what we had, man. That's what happened. His people did that. His people did that. Well, they took them, they took us over there from down Cuba. And then uh, they, they came over here and uh, and the dad going to America's man. And they shipped uh, they shipped our people back over there to Spain. What's your last name, brother? What's your man? He said what? What's your last name? Contreras. Co Contreras? See that? Contreras. Contreras, oh, man. Yeah. This is a Spaniard last name, man. Right. This is my last name with that uh that so called white man last name. You know what I'm saying? Over there, over there getting uh, uh, uh colonized by so-called white people, right? Bring it out one more time from the top. Press Salafi. I'm gonna close up. I'm gonna go pass to the next brother. The Edomite got me fired up. And the people shall take them and bring them to their places. And the house of Israel. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're gonna possess the so-called white man. We're gonna take the white man. We're gonna possess them. We're gonna take them. 
That's right. We're going to take them, brother. We're going to take them, brother. That's right. We're going to take them, right? He read, and the land of the Lord. And the land of the Lord, right? For a servant. For a servant. We're going to take the Edomites, the so-called white man, the land of the Lord for servants and what? And Hammond. So that's the so-called white man and the so-called white woman. Read. And they shall take them captives. And they're going to, we're going to do what? Take them take captives. We're going to take them captives. Whose captives they were. And we were right. all captives. We're going to take them captive now. We're going right. to take the so-called white man a captive. We're going to take you into slavery. Right. Right. You took us into slavery from our land. We're going to take you into slavery. All right. right. Do what do they say? The table's going to turn. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. There you go. Read. Yeah. So. And they shall rule over their oppressors. What are we going to do? And they, they shall, shall rule, rule over their oppressors. What the Israelites going to do? And they, and they shall, shall rule over their oppressors. What is some called blacks and Spanish and Americans going to do? And they, and they shall, shall rule, rule over their oppressors. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Yes, sir. That's what's coming to the Israelites, the so-called blacks and Spanish and Americans. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Right. All those who captives we were, they're going to be our captives now. Right. We're going to put them in chains. We're going to put them in slavery. They're going to be they're gonna clean in our field. They're going to be turning to our stuff. We're going to be turning to our shit, man. Right. That's what we're going to do to the so-called white man, you damn boy. That's right. Yeah, you damn devil. I agree, but I should Why are you being disrespectful? Use the devil that the Bible speaks of. And the Lord will kill you in these last days. We're going to take your babies, right? We're going to take your baby. Hey, give me that right quick that uh, uh, Psalm uh, 137, man. I'm going to close up. Because this is what we're going to do to your babies. This is what we're going to do to your generation of people that come up after you. Bring it out. My true being don't have This is the book of Psalms, chapter 137, and verse number 9. Hey, hey, don't love him. That's your enemy. That's your enemy. That's not my enemy. Don't love him. <laughs> That's your enemy. Because guess what? Guess what, man? Guess what? Guess what? I got, I got no he gonna, he gonna be your slave one no, day. I ain't got no enemies. Happy. The Lord has enemies. I ain't got no enemies. That's the enemy of the Lord. He only wanna deal with the Bible when it said about his judgment. I don't like it. He don't like it. Right? Like he don't like it. And, and but that, see, but that's the but that's the that's the pride of his people, right? Cause this is going to happen to his people. This is what, guess what? Me, brothers like me, brothers like you, are going to do to his race, like they did to our race. Bring it out. So book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 9. Oh. Happy shall he be that take it thy little ones. He said, happy is that ha happy shall you be that's going to take their little ones, right? right. That take it and dash it thy little ones against the stone. I'm going to take their babies and dash their heads in stones. Right. Like they did to our kids. How they, how they happen to took our kids and use them as alligator bait to make them uh their Birkin bag purses. Like how they like they did their alligator shoes. They was happy doing that. Making chairs out of us, making chairs out of our skin, and stuffing it with our hair, right? Making shoes out of our people, right? Happy as happy as we gonna be, they're gonna take their little ones and dance their hair on the stone. Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we gon' have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up